the there's been a conversation so far, if you take a look at the last couple of weeks, and I think also being reiterated by uh, Kofi Tunto, which is about if there's a blanket call for mining ban, does it mean that we have to include or is it possible that we exclude um, the bigger mining firms, those who are mining sustainably? And, and the whole point is that people are mining unsustainably. So how do we need to segregate or disaggregate? that whole call for a mining but a moratorium which is a temporary order which has been done before prior to the onset of this uh, policy directive of uh, uh, galam stop and all that yeah, so let me take this opportunity to wish your lovely viewers uh, a good morning and uh, wish my colleagues here Tuntu, my big brother mm -hmm. and uh, adele a good morning and to say that i think a fantastic sub 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 submission by adele which i want to stand on all fours on, on all fours with. Uh, yes, I think I also want to comment the uh, organized labor for their call on the on the president. One to place a ban on, if I had right, uh, small scale mining. Uh, they are not asking for a wholesale ban on mining. I think maybe they, generally. I mean, that's how I understand it, yeah, but it's, mining, be, yeah. it's been construed yeah. to mean that maybe yeah. they want Anglo Gold and everybody else, but yeah. I, I don't. And, but but and, that's how it, it's been interpreted. And, 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 and it's also legal if you look at uh, Section 87 of uh, mm. Min Minerals Act, Mine Min and Minerals Act, it states clearly that the minister has the right to revoke the license of a uh, small scale mining firms, they've given licenses, they have to revoke their licenses if it's in the interest of the public. I think there's, uh, it, it is beyond contestation that what we, have, what we are faced with now, some people call it as, as existential threat. Essentially, our very existence is, is, is on the line. Because where you have metals like mercury, lead, arsenic being used to refine gold, and you understand that when they enter into living organisms, including the food we eat, not just our water bodies, they don't live. And, 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 uh, and, and the impact they can have, have on us. I think, uh, I think the threat of illegal mining is beyond uh, contestation. Also, I wish to add that organized labor has been very generous on the president. You think they've been soft on the president? Uh, they soft. met I him think, yesterday, think, closed on meeting with I think the people of Ghana have been very soft on the, on the, on the president. I've said it here so many times. I don't even have the energy to say it anymore. That when the issue of Galamsey comes up, you shouldn't look anywhere but the president. And the call on the president isn't to ban Galamsey per se. And that's why he's been, he's been, he's also playing games with us. Because common sense dictates that immediately you, you ban Galamsey. The moratorium. Im immediately. Immediately you remove that ally. That ally that says that they should go and mine in first reasons immediately because and you see we are we have been soft on the president by now we should be hitting the streets demanding for the stepping down the removal of the president legally what you see the 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 the, the, the demonstration shouldn't just be a place a ban on galamsey we've given you this job for eight years for crying out loud we've given you that this job and we've placed a trust in you we've created a trust in you giving you all the powers of government Mm. We've placed a trust, we've created a trust in you, not only to protect our natural resources, but also to protect our environment. Because of the impact, the negative impact it can have, not just on us, but on our children and our children's children. But he slept. The president slept. What more time does he need? He slept. Ah, we saw, did, did we not read a, a prof, free property's report? Is the president saying that with all the, 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 the access he has to all the experts in the land, he does not know the impact of what is happening on, the, on, on our very existence. What has he done? Ah, is he not aware? So when Akota uh, uh, Mind and all these MPP apparatchiks, when they are, they are there, so the president isn't aware. See, what is happening is that we have a president who's chosen his party, his personal agenda over the national agenda. And what is the personal agenda? Uh, as in to, uh, to advance the court. However, you did, uh, I didn't hear to, to... The only reason why they, are, they, are, they, are, they always make an argument and make reference to the NDC is because they fear that should they do what is right now, it, it, it may affect their fortunes 
come 2024. So the only focus is how do we get ourselves into power? As to what they use the power for, that one for them is a secondary issue. It's a secondary issue. What they use the power for is one important for them. What will make the, 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 the majority chief whip? Hmm? What, 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 what familiar spirit will make him say that he wants to have a debate, not on how to sustain democracy, especially in, in, in the, uh, uh, following on the back of what uh, 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 Afro Bar 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 report said. He does not want to have a debate on how to restore the credibility of the economy of this country. He does not have a, a debate on that. He does not want to have a debate on how to restore the, 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 the environmental integrity of this country. He does not want to have a debate on that. He wants to have a debate between the MPP and the NDC, who has caused more distraction on our, on, on our environment. Because their concern is not about Ghana. Their concern is how do we sustain ourselves in power? You understand? They want the power, but they do not want to work. So why are we giving you a job? And, and, and my brother here was making a, a, a great argument. You see, you should go back to the Levant thing. The basis for the kind of government we have now, the social contract. You, you, you understand? Where all of us, independent, we are all free independent people, we agree to cede a bit of our powers, to give to government. For what end? To what purpose? And then in the Levant thing, it also says that where, the, we, where the, the, the person or government, where we've given him our powers, and he uses those powers in a manner adverse to the reason why we give him those powers, then he loses the legitimacy to continue to hold those powers. And that's what in our constitution, Article 69, Article 60, it says that where the president breaches any of the oath he took, you understand, the oath to be faithful to Ghana, the oath to defend, protect the, the constitution of this country, the oath to dedicate himself to the well-being of the citizens of this country, where he's breached that oath, he loses, the, he loses the legitimacy to control to hold the power. You think he's lost that legitimacy? He's lost it a long time ago. And that's what I'm saying that the, the, the demonstrations we are having, the call on organizers, it's not just for the president to, to ban small scale mining. He, the, the president is not ready to do that. In fact, he's even uh, was asking for more time and, and, and play with them so that his eight weeks will expire. Then he, then he goes and enjoys uh, 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 whatever he may. You see, the call. The call, and even if it's one day, that call must be made because government is 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 uh, is, 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 is is a continuous act. People will come after the president. We need to set a, a, a signal loud and clear. We need to set a precedent that when we give our powers to you, and you use those powers in the manner that's adverse to the people for which we give those powers to you, then we will impeach you. We will impeach you. So the, for me, on 10th October, on 10th October, organized labor shouldn't. Miss this opportunity. We miss the opportunity when we when when the when the attempt that's, the, the, no, that strike on uh, what's it called Snit. on on, no, on the attempt to buy uh, snakes because mm -hmm. that was also a, a fundamental use of the powers we've given the state in the manner that was adverse our, our, our collective interest. We shouldn't miss that chance come tenth October. On tenth October, the clarion call should be one. Because one of the fundamental principles that governs our constitution is property and accountability. It's property and accountability. And we, the repository of sovereign power, should not be afraid to hold the feet of people we've given our powers to, who have used those powers in a manner adverse our collective interest, in a manner that potentially can impact the very existence of us Ghanaians. We should not miss the, this opportunity to hold his feet to the fire. Come 10th October, the clear court should be won. Nana Akufado should step down. Nana Akufado should be impeached because clearly he's breached the terms of the oath he took. And it should not be an excuse right. that he has just eight weeks. I'm coming, it should not be an excuse that he has just eight weeks. You see, we should set this president. So going forward, when people want to be president, they understand that it's serious business. And that when they come and they use the powers we've given them in a manner, adverse to why we give them those powers, we will remove them. All right. Uh, 